Hey, I just came back from a K-Kona farm run to tell you this. Do you like live streams? Do you like live streams that go on for 24 hours? Do you like live streams that are 24 hours long and grant you the completion of Song of the Elves? Well, they're not gonna grant you the completion of the Song of the Elves, they're gonna grant me the Song of the Elves. It's gonna grant me the completion of Song of the Elves, but still. Tomorrow, Friday, 5 p.m. CEST or 3 p.m. UTC, which is the in-game time, I guess. I'll be live on Twitch for 24 hours. So make sure to pop in. It's gonna be absolutely amazing. We're gonna complete Song of the Elves. We're gonna do a lot of other stuff, hopefully, if the song if the quest doesn't take 24 hours. Anyways, hi, I'm Only Trails and welcome to season two. <laughs> I've decided to make an account that can only train skills or do quests when it's required for a clue scroll. My goal is to get every unique reward from every tier of clue scroll. And later in the endgame, I want all the stats and all the items so I can complete every single monster clue. Currently, I'm on Elites. When I've done 50, I'll move on to monsters and get into the endgame. I might be a dumbass sometimes, but you'll learn to love it. Enough rambling, let's do some clues. Last episode, we ended on a special note. Ages ago, we decided that we could complete achievement diaries if we already had the requirements. No extra grinding, but if we already have the requirements, we can actually complete them. And that is perfect, because we have a herb lore grind right now, which we can really speed up with the use of these achievement diaries. I don't know how many I can actually do, but... Four achievement diaries is already 10,000 XP in lamps, which is already going to cut like 300 herbs or something. So let's get into it. Let's start with the desert one. And I think I can do all of them. this guy jar give me that lamp my boy i just completed the easy diaries yes wow thanks if you ever lose the amulet what amulet oh wait what what is that do desert amulet Ooh, more teleportation methods very nice let's drop that there and let's in, should i instantly do it on herbal or should I, I i'm gonna wait i'm gonna wait i'm gonna keep it and we're gonna see how many lamps we can actually get special moment in the career of only trails because i'm about to get a haircut and this guy hasn't been to the barber shop in since he started on tutorial island so we have to make a very important decision here uh which do we're gonna take and it's obviously the hair i'm rocking at the moment which is that <laughs> which is that one there we go and it's even it's way cleaner than it is in real life but you know it is we're basically the same guy right now Let's grab this second lamp, because we've just done the Falador Easy Achievement Diaries. Boom! What the hell is that? Oh, the Falador Shield, right, I completely forgot that. Was a whole thing. Look at that, that actually looks fancy as shit. And now, we are thinking of doing the Falador Medium Diaries. The only thing I do not have is Skippy and the Mogers, but it is a quest that does not give any XP. I think we might go and do it for the Herblor XP since it doesn't give any XP anyways. So we completed Skippy and the Mogers and quickly killed the Mogre because that was one of the diaries. And while streaming, I decided to open two beginner clues thinking it would not give me anything. But uh, then this happened. Little, uh, little opening session of the beginner clues. Boom! Yes! That's unique! Oh, I'm so happy with that one. Yes! That's so good. I think I only need three more from beginner clues now. And yeah, no. This was uh, short-lived. So, well, let's quickly plant our Scarecrow in the middle of this patch. And we got ourselves the Medium Falador Diary completed. There we go. And I can actually get this guy. Look at that. Beautiful. Let's pick up that lamp after this farm run. So, um, I was checking. We just completed the Falador Medium. And how many have we... We cannot do Karen and Cabos. Because it has... We need to start Queen of Thieves. And that's a quest that requires... Thieving XP, so we can't do that one, but the one under that, Lumberage and Drainer, we've basically already done all of them. I just need to kill a zombie in Drainer Sewers and catch one anchovy in Alcarid, so very basic, very easy. And this is already the last requirement for these this achievement diary. We have four lamps then. I think this is 2,500, 2,500, 7,500, and 2,500, which means 15,000 Herblore XP already. And maybe we can even do the second part. No, animal magnetism. Damn it. It really hurts when it's only one requirement that prevents me from doing the achievement diary, unfortunately. With the cooking of this little thin snail, we've already completed the easy task to Mauritania. So, 
Let's get it. All right, time for my second pet. Where is he? I'm going to call him Jefferson. Jefferson? Yes, there he is. Go away, old man. I want some alone time with me and my dog. Yay! Okay, now, uh, now get out of here. Okay, that was so mean. Oh, I always feel so bad. Last task of the Varrock easy one is make a... I hope it's a bowl. I don't want to double check it. Yes, it is. And then put this in the pottery oven. And boom! Varrock easy diaries completed. Damn, look at all this Herblore XP just stacking up in the inventory. Holy shit. So I just realized I skipped over everything and checked if I could actually do any medium achievement diaries. There's a lot of them I cannot do, but then I see Kandarin... And I can actually do Kandarin. So, that's another 7,500 XP lamp. Just sitting there. It's gonna be good. Insure your pet. I will not insure him. Don't peer pressure me into doing that. Okay, first two things is string a maple... Is it long or short bow? God damn it, I gotta check. Maple short bow, my god, I almost ruined that. Almost ruined it, boys. But we are saved. Boom. That's that. Then create the super anti-poison. Boom, that's that. First two, done. Last part of the medium Fremenic Diaries. I mean, Kandarin Diaries. There we go. There we go. And now we can get the medium requirement out of the way. Very nice. That is a sick-ass helmet. Holy shit, look at that. Okay, never mind. It looks way cooler in the inventory. Before we do the rest, I'm already going to cash in all these XP lamps because we still need to do the Willy Diaries and I'm not going to go into the wilderness with all these. So, first things first, 2,500. 2,500, oh, these dopamine rushes are amazing. That's 7,500, 10,000, 12,000, and then 15k more on both of these, 7,500, and... <sighs> wow. 61 herb lord, not even that far from 62. That's about 300 herbs that I don't have to get now. That's beautiful. Before doing this next farm run, I caught a nature impling on the way to the spot and got myself a heart clue. This is not the outfit I want to open that in. There we go, much better. So, we have another heart clue to open. Here we go, heart clue number, I don't know, 139 and 80 law runes. I'll take it, I'll take it. I'm actually going to get 67 farming while planting this next herb. I'm running out of seeds, guys, slowly but surely. Oh! But we can now grow cannon time, which I didn't realize. Maybe we have a couple of those seeds in the in the old seed vault, but I'm not 100% on that. I don't think we have that many. But we'll see how long we can last. 2-1, new personal best. Wow. Wow. Not even that good of a kill again, to be honest. Damn, that's not great, is it? I just calculated my herbal XP, and I am 2k short of getting 70 herbal ore. We're going to go right into this, but first, I want to show you guys something that I kind of realized while I was at Roomfest. I still have 14 sinister keys. With this, I can open the sinister chest, which contains a couple of valuable herbs. Two Harlanders, three Raynars, one Irrit, one Averto, one Quarm, and one Torstal. So these are like 42 prayer pots, and then a bunch of other pots. I'm 2k short of getting this 70 herb lore level. But these are gonna get me over it. I've made my way over to the Anil Agility Dungeon. Here's the chest. Apparently they're not noted, which is a bit eh. There we go. Oh shit, that's more than I thought. But I get They are noted! Lost key coming in. This is actually quite satisfying looking at all these herbs in the inventory. But there we go. Let's see how much that's actually worth. 522k out of 14 Sinister Keys. That is not at all bad. But more importantly, holy shit, Raynars are high in price. More importantly, that is 70 Herb Lore. And there we go, that is 69 farming, one more farming level. And we are ready for some of the elves. As I said, I already have 70 Herb Lore banked. We're gonna dive into those spots in a little bit. But we're finishing this off probably with one more tight farm run. Since my farming did actually not overshadow my herb lore, which I'm really glad about. So the last skill we're gonna have to do is farming. But first, let's dive into these pots. This is the tab. We are a bit over on the toad flags, by the way, but we're ready for 70 herb lore. I guess I still need vials of water, damn it. Here we are, got some vials. <laughs> let's start off with the irrits, get the biggest bunch out of it. All right, that is almost all the big pots made into unfinished potions. I just need to do snapdragons and candatines. The toad flanks are basically here for 
safety measures because I actually want to keep them for Sarah Brews, I think. But I don't think I'm going to get there with just the ones I have now. 1,200 Irrits, 271 Arenars, and 980 Aventos. Add those into the mix and I think we're going to have to dive into half of this stack to get 70. But we'll see about it. First things first, I'm quickly going to do these Raynar potions because I am really excited to get some prayer potions again. And maybe this batch already is going to get us a level. There we go. First level coming in. We can now make super restore potions, which we are going to do very soon, which I'm really excited for too. We already went through all of our prayer pots, which were about... 293. I'm on 213,000 XP per hour. I'm not doing it tick perfect. I'm gonna be honest. I'm <laughs> I'm kind of slacking it a little bit, but still really great to see that 213k per hour, which means it should take about two hours to do this whole thing. 64. I should actually clean my snapdragons at this point, but I'm too into this. I think I'm just gonna finish off my irrits first. Only got 670 left, not that many. Hopefully we could get another two levels out of that, but yeah, that's not gonna happen. I'll take one and a half. 65 herb lore coming in. Not much to say about that, I reckon. Oh yeah, we can actually clean our catentines now and make super defense potions. Okay, really nice. 66 herb lore. 67 herb lore. We can clean the landed times that are in my bank right now. Didn't even look up what we could actually make with those. Anti-fire pots. Yo, that is actually really good. But that's only in two levels though. So that's 86 getting really close now. Whoops, I completely missed it because I'm just AFK. But now we can make anti-fires. Yes, that's really good. 69. Don't make the joke. One more to go. We are so incredibly close. 7.6k more XP. And I am going to have to dive into the Toad Flaxes. I thought I was not going to have to do it. We're, we're almost done. So I can't give less of a shit, to be honest. <laughs> Let's do it. Let's get these final XPs. This is what we've been grinding for for like a small month. 70 Herblar. I wasn't even tabbed in. We can now clean the Dwarf Weeds, but no one gives a shit about that. I uh, made a couple too many, but still have 350 remaining and still a farm run to go. So we still have a decent amount, but look at all these potions. I should actually order organize them real quick. Here we go. The super sets, 1,200 attack pots, 440 strength, 215 defense, a bunch of prayer potions, a load of super energies which we could which we could probably use at some of the elves so that's really good and 333 restores we have two full saradomen brews for the some of the elves fight so i'm hoping we can do them with that we might have to make a couple of guthics rests but we'll see you tomorrow on the stream as for now we have one more farming level to get this actually turned out perfectly nothing got over leveled so for like a couple more minutes, we're gonna have to do tight farm. All right, I've never done this. How does this even work? How do I start this? The Bolognos, Bologna, that seed. What's up, YouTube? I'm Abe's oh, guy. Oh, did they make this? Did they make this smaller? Okay, so this guy is doing like 20 at once. I don't think I can do 20. Yeah, that's not 20, mate. I might as well try one run, but I think I'm gonna have to stick to three. We'll see. I might be able to do 20, because I haven't ran yet, so my run is not even going down. Oh wow, you can actually just click them too. Oh, that's great. This is actually quite chill. I also just realized that these are also 16 and not 20 of them. Uh, <laughs> I already, I could already hear the comments. Uh, yeah, so 16 patches is what I'm gonna do. 20 is not gonna happen. Okay, so I have discovered that it's not a smart idea to start this minigame when you have to go to the toilet real quick. I am very good performing under pressure, but this is a bit much. You legit cannot leave your computer, and that is a very big issue at the moment. I might have to grab... I might have to grab for the bucket. And there we go, that's the last one. We got 100 total. Now let's see this XP drop. Hopefully it's more than 20k. Please, please be more than 20k. It's 21k. That means I only have to do this, let's say, one more time and then do a little tree run. This one is the one that lost run. Look at that. 21,000. I'm just going to do a really small run now for 50 seeds, probably just half, 15 minutes, and then we should be done. And then we will have all the requirements for Song of the Elves. I am so excited. 70 farming incoming. This is the last batch we're going to do today. Give me that last plant and then put that in the sack. For the last requirement for Song of the Elves! Boo! What? <laughs> Are you kidding me? Guess we'll get this last 1000 XP on my farm run. Yo, these energy potions were not helpful at all. I didn't need them. Is there actually anything we can get for the amount of points we got for Tide Farm? Is there any armor or something that we could use? I have no idea, but anyway, let's get that 70 farm. Hey, there it is. 70 farming. 
My God, we're actually ready for some of the elves. Uh, guess I'll not pick up these herbs. <laughs> but I think every single one of my farming patches is now empty, except for this one and the farming guild one. But I do think this raises an important question, guys. Should I be able to train farming and herb lore nearing the end game? These grinds lead up to 86 herb lore. 61 to 70 already took me a month. So you can only imagine how long that is going to take. Or are there any other ways of me training herb lore and farming? Make sure to leave them in the comments. I know it's very far from now, but me might have to start thinking about this already. Give me your guys' thoughts, and then I'll hope to see you guys tomorrow on the 24-hour stream where we're going to do Song of the Elves. We've got 70 construction, 70 hunting, 70 farming, woodcutting, smithing, mining, agility, and herb lore. That feels incredible to say. Guys, I hope you're as excited as I am. And I'll see you guys tomorrow, hopefully. I'll be live 24 hours, so there's no way you're missing me. All right, see you soon. Peace.